Look at these ravens trying to be slick. I know what y'all are doing. I, I get it, but I, I know what y'all are doing. We all know what y'all are doing. So the Baltimore Ravens, who um, have been going back and forth with Lamar Jackson, with contract negotiations, um, they are looking for just any type of incentives they possibly can get or they possibly can actually give to Lamar Jackson for him to stay. And an incentive would be a nice bonus reason why you should stay with us, why you should sign with us, and why you should remain with the Baltimore Ravens. And if we can't just do it with money, we're going to take it up a notch too. We're going to do it with respect. How can we show you, Lamar Jackson, that we really respect you, really respect your opinion, and really value it? Oh, well, he's going to have some input on our next offensive coordinator. He's going to have some input on that. And they say, okay, nice step in the right direction. But no, they not done. They say, you know what? Let's bring in his family. Let's, let, let's bring in his cousin. The Baltimore Ravens claim cornerback Trayvon Mullen, Lamar Jackson's cousin, offer waivers from the Cowboys who, mm, wow, what a game, right? The, 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 the game, I was fine with the, how the game was going, but... The way it ended just bothered me because I'm like, really? And we talked about it in the previous video. That's really how y'all wanted to end the game? Like a little five, six yard pass? Like, come on now. Like, throw a Hail Mary or something. Like, what are you doing? Anyway, talk about that another time. But Ravens claim uh, Trayvon Mullen off of waivers from the Cowboys. He was a 2019 second round pick from the Raiders. And now he's a Raven. Ravens, y'all not slick. Y'all not slick. I, I see it. I see it. I see what y'all doing. We all know what y'all doing. But, hey, whatever works, man, it, to, to keep Lamar Jackson, right? Whatever works. Um, also, the Ravens seem like they were doing uh, just a little bit of uh, trolling, too. Uh, I mean, I can't necessarily call it trolling, but initially when I saw it, I was like, hold up, but... Then I realized this is after uh, Hackett got fired. The Ravens, they will interview Broncos offensive coordinator Justin Alton for their offensive coordinator job. So it says, OK, so Justin Alton, he was the offense. He took over as offensive coordinator after they uh, fired Nathaniel Hackett. So he wasn't the original offensive coordinator because we know with the Broncos and that offense, if, if we were looking to pluck somebody from that staff, I mean, even still, but. If they looking to pluck somebody from that staff after how that offense was this year, <laughs> yuck. But anyway, uh, the Ravens will interview. <laughs> so I'm sorry, y'all. The Ravens will interview Broncos offensive coordinator Justin Allen for their offensive coordinator job. So it says now this part. I was like, okay, whatever. It said Denver ran for 205 yards in the last game of the season without in calling plays, which fits with John Harbaugh's desire to keep the run game a part of their identity. Like, that's, and I know he only had a couple games to call plays, small sample size. Um, I, I, I'm thinking that this is just going to be one of those, like, we just exploring all options. We're trying to just do a widespread of interviews and whatnot. We're trying to cover everything, everybody from everywhere. Opportunity for, of a lifetime. You come be the offensive coordinator here with the Ravens. This is a chance of a lifetime. Take it or leave it, buddy. But we'll see who they hire, man. At least I, I do appreciate that the Ravens are doing their due diligence. Um, this one I just because again he was on the staff. I know he didn't have the same role. He wasn't the offensive coordinator before, but I mean, hey, you never know. Some people just need a change of scenery, right? They just need a change of scenery. Wink, I think uh I think he was he was a defensive coordinator with the the Broncos before, I think, and his defense was ranked like thirty two. Right? So he came over to the Ravens and the defenses they did just fine when they were healthy. So there was that. So I mean sometimes we just need to be in a different environment. That's it. So yeah. But anyway, um just had to update y'all. Uh, with the latest and greatest with our favorite football team. Or if you're watching this channel, you're not even a Ravens fan, that's fine too. Uh, but the latest and greatest going on with these Baltimore Ravens. Team, keep it clean. I really appreciate y'all. And we out.